Good morning and welcome to Winnipeg. Well, we've got a lot to talk about first thing this morning here. Uh, there's uh, three major things. Well, one of them is really major. Okay, now, first of all, greetings to Tim, away up in Fairbanks, Alaska. Yeah. Remember yesterday I was saying something about if there's somebody further north than Winnipeg, put it in the comments. Well, I don't think there's going to be anybody further north than Fairbanks, Alaska. And Tim was mentioning how short his daylight was yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess, I guess Tim, you must sort of laugh when you hear me complaining about the cold weather and here in Winnip down in Winnipeg. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, I don't know, there, there there might be somebody further north than Fairbanks. Maybe somebody up in, in, the, in Russia, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> anyhow, now, another viewer wanted to know, what is in the Christmas cake? Well, I, I sort of talked about that before, but I'll show you the one. Oh, by the way, uh, here in... in I don't know, I guess in in, uh, uh, in our circles anyway, we used to refer to this as Christmas cake because it, we always used to have it at Christmas time. And so I, I refer to it as Christmas cake, but actually I guess technically it's a fruit cake. So we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, maybe, maybe we should talk about it now. I'll just sort of recompose here and, and show you uh, what the cake that I made yesterday afternoon looks like. Actually, this is this is just part of it. I made about four times as much as you see here. <laughs> I make in bulk. And then, then I put stuff in the fridge or freezer or whatever and sort of try not to eat it all at once. <laughs> Especially when it tastes that good. <laughs> all right. Uh, let, let's get uh, recomposed here. Uh, to, today on the model ship, I want to be dropping a whole bunch of little gray things down. If you remember, we made a, a myriad of little tiny parts, uh, uh, little boxes and all kinds of stuff that have to go on. I don't think I'll be putting the anchors and the anchor chain on yet, though. I think I'll kind of leave something fragile like that towards the end. We'll see how it goes. Um, although I, I suppose it... I'll, we'll just see what the instructions call for here. Where, where are we here? Yeah, we're, we're on the, we're actually on step nine. So uh, anyway, let's, let's recompose and uh, take a look at the Christmas cake. And once again, Tim, thanks for commenting. I really do appreciate that. Okay, let's see if we can find a place where we can see it because I don't want to. I don't want to unwrap it here. Uh, now, there's a there's a reason why I'm using a, one of Gabe's uh, uh, swabs here to point with, and we'll be talking about that in a minute. But there are. Let's see if I can find any green ones. Okay, there are green green cherries, red cherries, almonds, and uh, it's kind of hard to see, but there's walnuts chopped walnuts okay that now now what the cake part of it okay the cake part of it is just simply uh this okay nothing special it's already it's already got spices and everything in it and it it seems to work really well as what you might call the uh you know <laughs> so uh, there's another one exactly like this in the fridge exactly like it and it's it's going this is going back in the fridge with it. Okay, I, I think uh, there isn't a whole lot more I can say about this. Oh, and there's there's eggs. There in in the in the entire huge batch that I made. Oh, as well as another one exactly like this in the fridge. There's there's a big round one uh, that I didn't cut in half. And then there was a couple of little, you know, like like muffins. Uh, made out of the same stuff. I made a huge batch and I, I put nine eggs in there. So you're probably looking at a total of, uh, oh, maybe, I'm guessing, uh, two or three eggs in this 
amount here. Uh, okay, enough about the cake. Let, let's uh, let's move on and uh, and uh, we'll we'll look here at what we got in the mailbox yesterday. I guess that's sort of going to be our rollback. Okay, now, in case somebody's wondering how come the action is not centered in the picture, it's because I want to have a rollback happening over here, and I'm planning on dubbing it in later. Anyway, uh, here's what happened yesterday afternoon. While I was uh, actually editing out yesterday's final edit, um, oh, I'm guessing two, th two, three, maybe four months ago now, our friend Gabe who sent us these, these swabs, um, had said that he was going to make some uh, fig, 200 scale figures that, that we could put on the, on the ships. Well, uh, unbeknownst to me at the time, uh, our friend Gabe, who lives here in Winnipeg, did stop by. And uh, I did not see him. Anyway, uh, I talked to him on the phone last night. He said that there there is a letter in here. I actually have not opened this yet, but he mentioned there is a letter in here as well as the uh, the little figures. I, I did figure that out a little bit later, uh, not after not until after I had come back into the house from retrieving these from the mailbox. But uh, there is supposed to be something in here. Uh, he's got do not bend on here, so let's let's not. Uh, uh, cut this in the wrong place and maybe uh, wreck something. Okay, yeah, there's a letter and what on earth is this now? Maybe it'll be explained in the letter. Oh! <laughs> perspective <laughs> okay I think I'm getting it uh, all right okay that should be it <laughs> all right uh, maybe I should uh, quickly read the letter off camera here what what is this? Practice rasin pieces. Okay. Officers and petty officers. Okay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at that. Okay, you know what? Uh, we are definitely going to have to uh, uh, recompose here. Um, maybe what I should do to get perspective. Uh, first of all, I'm, I'm going to read this and find out what's going on here. And uh, uh, <laughs> then, then I was just thinking maybe we could set some of these. There's a lot of them. Oh my goodness, they're, they're all painted? Well, okay, stop talking, Ron. Okay, I was curious. How is it that I did not notice when Gabe came to the house? Well, you probably can't read it, but my clock there when I ended up yesterday's episode said 1224. Gabe came approximately, well, pretty much exactly half an hour later. And uh, at that time, I was thinking, well, what was I doing? Well, I was sitting right here, and I was probably staring at my screen, concentrating, and I did not notice that in the surveillance monitor to my right, Gabe was coming and going, and I didn't hear the mailbox rattle. Usually, usually I do. Now, I know that, that right here in this room, there is a little bit of ambient noise going on. In other words, the... the uh, the unit for the surveillance camera that's probably the only thing I don't like about it it's a uh, way too noisy I've been thinking of of uh, taking the fan out and putting in a, an ordinary fan like from a computer or something like that that's a lot quieter 
But it's got this noisy little high-speed fan. I'm sure you can probably hear it in the background there. Now, uh, yeah, you know, Gabe, if I had have seen you come, I would have swallowed my pride, and I would have invited you in, and I would have just says, come on in and close your eyes. <laughs> I know people are going to say, well, Ron, if you're so ashamed of what your house looks like, why don't you clean it up? Well, maybe I'm not that ashamed. <laughs> or maybe I just don't get very many visitors. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, that's that's why I, 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 I didn't see it. Because uh, I do have, I actually have three surveillance monitors in the house going on at the same time during the day. <clears throat> There's this one that you can see here be, to my right. There's the one at the model table, and then there's a, I had an I had an old TV that was just laying on its standing up on its edge in a closet, and I thought, hey, why don't I just run another wire into the bathroom? So I've got a a monitor in the bathroom. <laughs> oh yeah, as I said a couple of three episodes ago, senility is setting in. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's move on here. Okay, um, there must be close to 50 altogether here. And it looks like one guy I've got upside down here. Don't know if we can turn him around. But, uh, uh, that's pretty good. Now, when, when I was talking to Gabe on the phone yesterday and thanking him for sending these oh well, by the way this there's there's per, for perspective okay um i told him i will not put on the macro lens and uh i volunteered that myself and then we started uh, uh joking about arm's length and all the rest of that kind of stuff but if you will recall when uh when tony sent us the aircraft for the bismarck and i put i made the mistake of putting the macro lens on and I, and I know that I could tell from from uh, Tony's, uh, I guess it was a comment or an email or something he sent me, that he was disappointed in himself that how how uh, it looked. It didn't look as good as, as he thought it would. And I have said at least a hundred times uh, during these, these uh, episodes that when you're looking at something like this up or really close, like under the macro lens, or you know, as the saying goes, putting it under the microscope, and we practically are. Uh, these sort of things do not look good. If I was to take my macro lens and go into the world class, uh, world model building championship, and go up to the to the to the one that had been, um, you know, won first prize, and and snapped a bunch of pictures and showed it to you, you'd think to yourself that one first prize it's because stuff does not look look as, as good uh, uh, up close as it does uh, from normal viewing distance now you right now are actually viewing these quite a bit closer than you're going to be seeing them when they're when they're uh, actually placed on the deck and, uh, oh, by the way, Gabe was mentioning that he's got about 20 more of these that he's going to do in U.S. Navy uh, dress. Uh, oh, look at this, this one here. He's holding binoculars. Do you see that? Can you see that? that, that that's, that's, uh, that's pretty good. That's, that's, that's clear enough that, you know, I can see that without the macro lens. Uh, okay, I wonder if there's any more holding binoculars. No, there's, uh, you know, guys in sitting positions, standing positions, uh, you know, walking positions. And uh, I, th I think Gabe has got these ma mainly for the, for the Rodney. Uh, I was thinking I could maybe put some on the hood. Uh, and then and then whatever he's going to make for us in the, near, in the future, uh, he, th he thought he'd have them before the Iowa was, was done. Uh, you know, in the future, we'll, we'll put them on the Iowa. So uh, that this is really going to add for perspective. You know what I think I will do is I'm going to take one of these uh, guys that's in a walking or standing position and put it on the deck of our Iowa right now, 
I'm going to find a piece of the uh, superstructure for the Iowa so that there's something that it can go up against, like a doorway or, you know, that kind of thing. <clears throat> Excuse me, that kind of thing, even though it's not finished. Um, okay, I think I've talked enough here. Gabe, thank you so much. I don't know how you managed to be able to paint these, you know, like the... Uh, you know, the, uh, the 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 faces and everything, and the hands, and all this very, very delicate painting. I cannot do that. That That is that is a gift. And talking about gifts, this is a, uh, uh, this is as far as I'm, I'm going to accept this as a gift for, for all of us who have been watching the, this, uh, the, this series, you know. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not just me. It's all of you uh, viewers who are you know, enjoying this and and making the comments and, you know, and so on. Okay, have I poked at this enough, folks? Have I poked at this enough? I think so. Okay, let's uh, stick on our main piece of superstructure here. Oh, that is such a beautiful fit. What a beautiful fit. It really really ties our two deck halves in, in, in together. And the, the seam for the for the fore section and aft section is right there. And I because I know where it is I can see it. But if you don't know where it is, you're not gonna see the seam. So they these halves are going together really good. Now let's uh let's very carefully here. I don't wanna scratch these things. We'll take the the guy with the with the binoculars, and we'll we'll try and stand them up here somewhere. Uh, by between the doorways here, so we can sort of get a, you know, perspective going on. All right, now I'll I'll move the camera in, and we'll we'll look in right here. But Gabe, don't worry, not with the macro lens, okay? Not with the macro lens. Okay, I was looking in the monitor here a second ago, and it it almost appears to be a little rope or something right here. What is that, a piece of dust, or... I guess it's uh, maybe a piece of plastic or something. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Maybe I should have left it there. There, There is a hole here. Obviously, we have to mount something in those holes. Um... I'm wondering if it would have uh, our little our little uh, figure would have shown up better if I was you might say squatted down and we were coming in more at a horizontal view. So I'm just going to recompose here. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can do this in one take. Well, there we are. Thank you very much, Gabe. On behalf of myself and all the other viewers. Okay, time is seriously slipping away on us here this afternoon. Well, I don't know if it's serious, but it's... Anyway, it's slipping away, and uh, as near as I can tell, the piece that fell on the floor that I spent a bunch of that time looking for just a few minutes ago came from right here. So I'm going to assume it was one of these. Because this is the only place on this entire thing that something is missing. And it, it fell on the floor. I I heard it more than I saw it. And I, could, I tried to follow it and see which way it bounced. And it bounced off our piece of plywood. And... Uh, Okay, now the idea was we were supposed to be able to peel this off and then we were going to be able to read. Okay, so obviously it was a number 27. 
hopefully there isn't there is extra 27s if there isn't i don't know what i'm going to do because i i really did look and i don't know where it could have gone well it's on the floor somewhere it probably rolled into the carpet okay so what what's happening here this, this shouldn't be coming off like this. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm peeling off the wrong one. That's the problem. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's better. All right. I wonder if I peeled off the wrong ones on this one as, as well. Where's that piece of tape? I got it all scrunched up here now. I think that's I think that's just a a single piece. I don't think it was double. Or was it? <gasps> it was. Okay, so th this was a this was a these were number thirties. Okay. All right, let's be a little bit more careful here, Ron. All right. So if we take this one off here. Number two. That's not tape. Okay, these are these are all twos. Well, we need <clears throat> we need a uh, M two right at the bow. I was I was going to mention that I think we'll start at the very bow and just methodically work our way back. This piece here, if you remember, we we didn't paint it. Well, I didn't paint it. So that might be a good chance to try out the uh, the new airbrush, you know, the, the low-priced uh, gravity feed. more number twos well they're obviously number twos uh, and and, uh, and a lot of these others there I don't think we have numbers on them k5 not coming off. These are not coming off as good as I thought they were going to. I must be maybe they I must be grabbing them at the wrong place or something. Okay, I'm just gonna uh, what do we got here? 19 minutes to 2 already. Okay we'll figure it out. Okay, I think I'm going to, uh, because I don't want the extra thin to wick its way out into this number uh, 77 paint, I don't think I'll be using the uh, the extra thin. I think I'm going to use a thicker, thicker uh, cement here that isn't going to have the, uh, the wicking properties that... Uh, We'll use this one right here. Um, maybe what I should do is apply it to wrong tweezers. Tony's tweezers won't scratch. Okay, I'll just do a dry run here. Yeah, that should go. Okay.
Okay. Now, we got two pieces on. Um, not anywhere near as many as I thought we were going to have on by, by the time we cut today's video up. Now, Gabe, if you're listening still, uh, when you come, if you come, with the uh, other pieces for the uh, that are that are done in the uh, U.S. Navy uh, uniforms, uh, give me a call before you come, and uh, yeah, you come in and have a cup of coffee. And uh, as long as I know in advance, uh, I can make sure the toilet's flushed, and uh, yeah, you're more than welcome. <laughs> Okay, um, thanks for watching everybody, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.